Hi, I'm Nate and you're watching Photo Learningism. I once upon a time did a video about how to get your digital drawing tablet working with GIMP and I wanted to take another crack at that because I've since upgraded my drawing tablet to the Huion 610 V2 Pro. Go check it out if you don't have one. It's an excellent drawing tablet and very affordable. Also, it seems like the interface has changed just a bit in GIMP and I wanted to catch us up to where we are today. Uh, so let's go do that and have a look. Um, just for reference here, this is currently version 2.10.32, which did come down for, from the catalog, and I'm in Linux, I'm in Ubuntu, just for reference, uh, but I do believe they're pretty much uh, in parity, in, in on par with Windows in that case. So, understanding all of that, in order to get this working there are some things that will work out of the box, kind of similar to other tools where this device will to start treating it like a mouse. Um, so you can understand that. However, what's going to happen is that it kind of behaves exactly like a mouse. It doesn't give you any of the pressure controls. It doesn't really give you any of the dynamics that you'd want uh, to, to work with as if you were drawing. So to work with that, I'll draw your attention first down here to the bottom left. When you work on a typical brush, you will have some options. And this seems to be the new approach for GIMP is how you apply the, these new um, tablet settings, I'll call them. They call them dynamics, but really what they are, are like accents and ways of dealing with randomization and tilt of the brush. Um, really, I found that the best one that works in this mix is the, uh, the basic dynamics, which did have some ability in the beginning, but it really just didn't give the results you're looking for when you, you feather it on the tablet or when you do those things. It was just always hard. So I'm going to set it on basic dynamics using this again arrow down here, setting it there. That just seems to be the best mix of all the different uh, accents for, for doing digital drawing. And then what I also had to do is I had to come into edit and input devices and I had to do this um, in a succession, meaning that I had to come in here, I had to look at some settings. What I actually did first is I, en I enabled the Huion mouse, thinking that may have been my device. This did not show up right away, this Huion 256C pen stylus. Um, I enabled this, I closed and reopened GIMP. I noticed that that wasn't working properly, so I turned that back off, but then lo and behold, as I came back in, this then woke up. Um, it's almost like it detected it and then you had to restart the software to get it to show up. So that might be the circumstance you encounter in this case. Once it was on, what I did have to do further is I had to come down to pressure and there's the default curve, which is like, a, I think it's just a one-to-one, -one, they call it. Um, I had to drag up the, the top point here and bring that in a little bit. And then I finally started getting the kind of pressure sensitivity that I really wanted to see. Um, and even that seemed to, to reach into some of the, um, the shaping of the brush. And I'll show you what I mean here. So I'm going to close out of that. And what happens is as I start to use <laughs> the digital pen now, I'm going to start by feathering now. And you can see how it's nice and light. If I push harder, it gets harder. There's a nice degree of control now where I can really just light touch things and feel like I'm getting more what I'm looking for. Also, it reacts if I kind of move it fast. It'll change the shape of the brush because it changes the shape of the brush with speed. So you can see how that happens now, which is actually really cool to see as an accent piece where if I want to have kind of like the a different shaping um, of the stroke, that gives me that control as well, which is really nice to see in GIMP. There are some other things that you can tweak over on the left here uh, with the sizing and the angle, and you can change kind of how the, the brush tip, if you will, will land on the page. But getting those dynamics ironed out really makes a big difference for how you can paint and really add your personal touch into what you're going to draw. So that's really the basics of it. And that really kind of fired up these options that I, I think unlock a whole new bit of potential for GIMP using this pressure sensitivity because you really can't get that with the mouse. Having the pressure control with a tablet just makes a huge difference if you want to get serious about doing digital drawing. All right. So once again, I'm Nate. This is Photo Learningism. I hope that was helpful. Give me a thumbs up if it was. Also subscribe if you haven't done that already. And I will see you again at the next video.